plan for today i decided to uh go ahead and put the new tires on the dump trailer it's obviously kind of dark right now but finally we're out that set so let's take this thing down to the shop and i'll show you what you got to go on here it's gonna be similar to what every trailer's got And it's a 2015 dump trailer. I believe that's what year we got it. 14K trailer, so it means it's got two 7,000 pound axles. And standard for any trailer, unless you get the additional option to bump it up to 17.5s or get higher ply tires, come with these junkers. Now, they, they haven't failed on me. Uh, actually, I haven't quite worn them out. The back tire is a little bit bald because I imagine that's the one that kind of gets kicked sideways when you're doing your turns. So I was just going to rotate them, but I noticed I had a nail in this tire and I said screw it you know what we're just gonna get it done right uh, I would rather have bought 17.5 tires and rims and up the plies on that but truth be told I don't know if this dump trailer is gonna get used a lot in general and next year we might get a bigger one so this one would probably get sold so there's no point in spending that kind of money if it's just gonna get sold so what I did is I just got some 14 ply 16 rim size tires and we're gonna try our best to get these on uh, they are they are thick the sidewalls are super thick reason I like these is obviously they're tougher they're gonna last longer but compared to these the sidewall is so weak on these when you go around a corner and you're loaded you can really see the sidewall start to just get manipulated they just freaking get destroyed just getting rolled over uh, so if I put bigger tires or stronger tires sidewall on it I obviously would be worried about the rim so we're gonna send it and see how she does but for right now, i uh, got to get the air compressor fired up and start swapping these things out. Got my old trusty tire machine. Been looking for a new one. People won't text me back. If you post something for sale, send photos. Reply to calls and text messages. What is wrong with people? Let me get this started correctly. Anybody that has experience with tire machines and knows a good brand model that's not too expensive because I'm not a tire shop, I don't use it every day, put a link or uh, whatever in the description below or in the comments. So I'd like to get one. But this thing's money for doing 16. This might suck. Better take a couple layers off. Here we go with the same old thing. Like I said something. Just to ruin your mood and clip your wings. I would buy you a diamond ring. If you made me feel like you were queen and I were king. Oh. I was going to talk, but you go ahead. It's fine. All right, before I forget, let's go ahead and look at these tires. These are the stalkers, obviously, but like flimsy, flimsy versus can't really push your thumb into that. Let's find the load rating on these real quick. 3,500 pounds on a single. Not bad. 4,000 pounds on a single. At 110 PSI. Now, I'm not saying doing this is going to, you know, make this trailer stronger or nothing. But I think it's going to be better for everything. Because the tires can just kind of skid in the corners. Because they're so much tougher than those other ones. Those other ones just roll over and become a bigger footprint on the ground. And I think I actually tear stuff up a little bit more. But I'm going to, like, 
these equalizers are, it's like, what the heck? I'm sure it was like that from factory. This trailer's probably got, ah, shoot. If I said it had 10,000 miles on it, it, would, it wouldn't be, like, uh, maybe, say, in between 5 and 10. I don't think it's even got that much. First day I had it, somebody freaking skid steer, buckled this cap, and broke my valve stem. Like, the first day that I was using it. Mint trailer guy ran into it skid steer. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. These are going a little bit easier than the 17 fives that I put on the yellow trailer When I put the rims on those. Oh, that was that was brutal But this tire machine is actually making it happen the little thumb that comes up for Stopping the wheel from spinning is broken off. So I'm just sticking tire iron in there Ten in there, I think that's kind of overkill, especially for the application. Uh, even on my big trailers, they run a similar tire. Yeah, I put about 90, 95, um, especially on the duels. Maybe I'll go to 100, but I don't, I don't think they're not budging at all for putting this kind of weight on them. So we got two more to go, and then uh, we'll go see if we can get some to haul. We're gonna try them out versus the old 10 plies. We got the 14s, low range G. I think these are going to be way better. These should come standard on the dang trailers from factory if they got a 14K rating. I know it's overdoing it for the tires, but those, those cheap tires suck. But we'll get this load of oak on there and see how she does. Those tires are handling that load a lot better than those old ones, that's for sure. I'm going to ballpark around 10,000 pounds. I know people are going to be skeptical on it, but riddle me this. This big log here yep, was tipping the 080 out at full stretch. It was tipping it. And I can lift up and uh, almost get full stretch out of a uh, one of those cinder blocks. Those big, you know, just all concrete thing with the little piece of uh, rebar in the center what the heck you call those just retaining wall blocks uh anyway those weigh like what three four thousand pounds so that weighs about that got two of them in here and then i got a bunch of little guys in the bottom this stuff is like petrified bullcrap hard oak it's heavy so yeah that's we're just gonna go with that around ten thousand pounds which is you know for a 14k trailer it's right in the thresh of what you want to be hauling a little bit more on this and with those spongy tires it didn't really care for it too much but if you get good tongue weight I think it can handle just fine so let's hit the road and see how she does because it already feels a lot more stable <laughs> all right three inches on the other side hey make it tight on this here wrench been driving for a couple minutes and I can already tell a difference with weight on the trailer like this feels a lot more stable versus those tires that came on it I'm very glad I went with these as an upgrade compared to just putting the ones you know the same kind of style that were on at the same rating because these definitely make a difference the other ones when I mean you got suspension and everything the trailer has but then the tires yeah I just went over a bump right there but you can see like the tires just taking a lot of the heat and I don't know. I mean, you can order a trailer from factory with the upgraded 16 or 14 ply tires. That's typically what I've been doing on my later trailers. But I hadn't tried it on the 16s yet. So I went the cheaper route so I didn't have to buy new wheels also. I got the, uh, the higher ply on the 16s just to try it out. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen to this trailer. And I want good tires on it while I have it for now. And I don't want to put junkers on it for if we sell it. Feels a lot better though. Very much worth it. 
we'll see how long these suckers last long term. But the other ones, uh, shoot, they got like five years out of them. Yeah, this is some primo oak right here, but these uh, new tires feel a lot better than those old spongers. Did you kick one? Hang on. There you go. Hang it. Hug it. Hug it. Ow. We got a house. Ready. All the dogs out of the way. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds kind of heavy. Kind of. Tarp, get the tarp, Emma. Get the tarp. If you're gonna buy tires, just upgrade a couple extra plies, make life a lot easier. Sand in this. That that is a that's a decent little load right there. That yeah. But look at the tires. I don't even have them up to their like their max pressure. I don't like running my tires all the way up. But these uh, you know if they say 100, I'll put like 85, 90 in them. Those things are handling it like a champ. Yeah, it's a little heavy though, but oh well. Well, on the subject of new tires, quiet gate. I'm talking. Look, it just magically showed up at the gate set of brand new Goodyear what do I call them G622 for the 5500 get on there I got some kind of cheaper ones for the dump trailer that are more cost effective because it doesn't get used all the time but this year I did not cheap out on the rear tires for the 5500 because the last ones I cheaped out and they only got me uh, 10,000 miles so I'll get these Slapped on Saturday when I don't have work. And uh, yeah, it'll be nice to have some good tires. Let's go check the mail. I think I got some other stuff. Oh, some new meats. I dropped these off at the tire place this morning. I'm definitely gonna have to buy a tire machine that can handle the bigger rims and the aluminums because they wanted 300 bucks. That was for mount balance, put the beads in it because they don't uh, put weights on these. Looked like they gave my Alco a nice little ding right there. And then disposal of the uh, 19.5s because they say those are truck tires and they cost more to, it sounded like a rip off, but I was like, I don't wanna deal with those tires. Just get it out of here. Mounted balance, 300 bucks. Grandma's was only 100 bucks to put the regular 20 inch rim on there. But go ahead and smash these on there. I dropped them off this morning. Austin picked them up for me because I've been out of town all day. And anybody that was wanting to see, I mean, that might as well be a black tire on the back of it. It looks like complete, like trash. That was one of the inner duels. Um, since I have extra steels, since these were originally steels on this truck, I got the Alcoa's aftermarket. But, uh, yeah, just somebody saying they wanted to see black tires or black wheels on this. Yuck. You know, I, that truck, I only went with black because I put black fender flares on it. Some trucks look real good black. Not this truck. And definitely not my new ish. It's not new anymore. 3,500. But we're going to smash these on there. Again, these are going to be way better tires than these. Uh, I had Westlakes on there. I have Westlakes on the front. People ask periodically what I'm running. I bought the Westlakes for the back because I bought them for the front. The front ones are handling it just fine. They're not showing any weird patterns or nothing. And I use four-wheel drive 
pretty often and the front tires do end up spinning pretty often too you know here's some gravel road spinach but they're not chunking they're not doing bad so the fronts with the highway pat or highway tread not pattern i don't know it's maybe the same thing they're holding up good for the west lakes they're about 150 bucks a tire versus these ones it was they're about 350 bucks a piece plus another 300 mountain balance of freaking things but whatever we'll get them smashed on there real quick and i'm only running four lugger right now uh, that's kind of long-winded yada yada i swear i'm gonna have to get my own tire machine that can handle these uh for starters they didn't put any of my valve caps back on it so that was nice and i figured you know what last time they overinflated all my tires this time they're all pretty close they're rated for like 100 and, is it 110 yeah these are 110s last time they had like 115 or something like that in them but i like to run about 90 because that's the handle good they don't beat you up inside the truck and they handle the weight just fine at 90 psi that's, that's good pressure but then one of them's only got freaking 80 and the rest got about 100 and the other one's got 80 so check that before you slap them on because checking duels and adjusting pressure in the duels sucks okay people have told me to not put never sees on my lug nuts or the studs screw that if there's one thing that's going to be taking some heat and some road grime it's that stuff and the inner dual i've had people say don't put your steels and aluminum so don't mix them but every freaking truck ever has been that way because it's way cheaper i would like to put another alco on the inside because they're way lighter but it's just not really in the budget doesn't make too much sense so i lubed the crap out of this with never sees because it rides on the hub right there but i'm gonna check my brakes and everything while i'm underneath here just look at that nice big old spring pack make sure everything's all nice and tight and if you guys do watch my videos and I like to take any advice that I might be able to give. I don't know if it's necessarily me saying to go out and do whatever I'm telling you, but when it comes down to stuff, I'm just sharing my experiences. If you go out and you buy whatever truck I'm driving and you're unhappy with it, it's not my fault. You can go out and test drive one yourself and realize you don't like it before you drive off the lot and put the push in $100,000 for one of these freaking trucks now. So if that happens to you, that's uh, your decision. Don't blame me. But if you take the truck, buy it, enjoy it, love it, I'll take the credit for that one. But if you make a mistake and buy something you don't like, don't blame me. So I'm gonna go ahead. To get, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all wrapped up and call it a night. let's go ahead and wrap this one up it's been a doozy but we've been learning about tires thankful to have the good treads on there uh the information i got on those was from another guy that hauls stuff he hauls containers and various other stuff i was going to try out continentals but he recommended these after he tried the continentals and they were starting to chip up and stuff i'll put a photo on it with his at 40 some thousand miles versus these at 20,000. i think that's what his text said but I, i'm feeling pretty good about these i got some a reliable source that brought these to my attention but a couple years ago, I had that brake over there stick on because the exhaust was banging on one of my um, brake lines, squished it, and it stuck the brake on. It was the hottest I've ever seen anything in my life was this brake being stuck on. I was towing up a hill. I was just raw dogging it. I thought it was the uh, parking brake sticking, but turned out, nope, I needed to get a new caliper. It crumbled. I got new brakes on that side. The rotor was actually fine somehow. But I figured while I was over here at this time, 70,000 miles, the brake shoes on the left side are only about half worn out. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that, but I, I took them out to look at it. I figured I'll just go ahead and slap the other set that I bought as a pair. Threw them in there right now, get her done with. But I would say in the case of what I did, I bought some good tires for the truck this time. I thought I would buy cheap ones last time just to see what they would do. Wasn't happy with them. They rode like crap. They're kind of wishy-washy. They didn't feel the toughest, and they wore out at about 10,000 miles. I don't think 
I put about a thousand miles a month on this truck now, just to and from work. And I don't do over road stuff, you know, that's for somebody else to do. But they wore out quick and it just cost me downtime money and all kinds of stuff. I just get the good ones now. But in this case, going for the um, dump trailer, out of the last like five years, it might have been used 10,000 miles. So if those last 10, I'll be okay with that and I could change those on my own time. But uh, once a new other trailer shows up, I, that one's gonna, it's already got a new home planned. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and there'll be good tires for the next guy that gets it. They were upgrades, but they weren't, you know, the most expensive like these ones were. They were pretty affordable. They were, like these things, what I say, like 350 a piece. Those other ones were, um, I think it was like 600 bucks for the, for the four of them. So it wasn't too bad. Trailer tires are definitely a little bit cheaper than um, tractor tires. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below uh, your experience with tires. Uh, I talked about this back in the day. Like if you have an opinion on something, that's just a rumor. You know, that if you have credible source, you say Westlake suck like I did because I experienced it. Let me know about it. If you had good experiences, BF Goodrich. Um, if you ran good years, let me know. Let's, let's find some information. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later.